Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. <laughs> there has been such hush and quiet here and joyful anticipation, I can tell. Welcome to Hamlin Church. I'm Mariah Tolgard, one of the pastors here, and welcome to the Hamlin University a cappella concert. This is one of the highlights of the year for us and for the university and for this entire community, so we are so glad that you are here. Wanna, there's still pe folks coming in, so squeeze in if you can, and we'll send people up into the balconies and all over. So it is so wonderful to have such a great crowd here tonight. We have a wonderful uh, program in store. This is the start of a new era with our uh, new director here today. We are so excited to welcome Dr. Shakela Wanyama uh, to lead the choir uh, tonight. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping things as we begin. Uh, we in Please remember to turn off anything that rings or dings or vibrates loudly. And uh, if you need restrooms, you can go out this door through the commons or uh, out the back doors and downstairs where there is um, a, a unisex restroom as well as a women's room. So just those pieces of information. Uh, we are so glad to have you here at Hamlin Church, and you'll notice in your uh, pews there are a few little cards, and those talk about some upcoming concerts we have. This is part of our uh, music and art series, one of the many, uh, about 10 concerts we host a year, and, and so we have a couple more coming up this month as well as more throughout the season. Also, if you're looking for a, a church home, we invite you to check us out, and those postcards also talk about our Christmas Eve uh, worship times, and everyone is most welcome. So, with all that said, let us, this night, join together and prepare ourselves for this experience of beautiful music and being in community together.
Hello? I'll speak loudly. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'm welcoming everybody, uh, adding a few words of welcome uh, to Mariah's wonderful warm words, and uh, just to recognize a few people. My name is Janet Green. I'm the, the uh, chair of the music department at Hamlin University, and I am delighted to see this packed hall with all these wonderful faces, many faces that are um, familiar to me, and many, I'm sure, who are alumni of the choir. A um, couple of things. I want to really turn around the thanks that Mariah gave to the university and thank the Hamlin Church very deeply from the bottom of our hearts for hosting this um, wonderful December tradition, this annual concert year after year, and uh, there are a few particular people to thank, of course, the entire staff and the congregation, but in particular, Director of Music, Dr. David Kozaszek, and the Hamlin graduate, Walker Brault, who is helping us with the AV and got this microphone to work. <laughs> so I'd like to thank both David and uh, Walker from, you know, to make this happen is just wonderful. The Hamlin Church has been such an important um, community partner for the university, and we're so grateful for their continued care of our students. As we all know, it takes a village to raise and launch young people. Also, I'd like to express how fortunate we are to have Dr. Shakela Wanyama directing the a cappella choir, which is the university's flagship ensemble. She has thoughtfully, energetically, and respectfully balanced the continuation of beloved traditions as established by Professor Emeritus George Chu, who I hope is in the audience, with her own creative and joyful vision. This transitional semester has been remarkably smooth, and I say that from the chair's position. I know all the dirt, so. <laughs> and there isn't any, so don't bother asking. Um, of course, a huge role was played by our wonderful choir students, particularly the choir directors and the officers, um, kudos to you. Your leadership and supportiveness have been open-minded and open-armed. And now back to the music. Yeah. 
Good afternoon and happy holidays. I am Shakela Wanyama and I have the privilege of working with de these delightful singers as director of the Acapella Choir. Our concert this afternoon features a variety of perspectives on winter from all over the world. You heard um, Middle English Reflections on Winter by Robert Southwell and others in uh, Benjamin Britten's Ceremony of Carols. And then of course, um, just now, our choir favorite, Snowy Day, which was popularized by Boys to Men back in the day. You'll also hear expressions of awe for winter's beauty in Sarah Cortell's A Winter Day and celebrations of Christmas joy and generosity with the Filipino classic Kumikuti Kutitap and finally the American Sacred Harp song Brightest and Best. This time of year is not only full of light and awe and celebration, the early darkness and fierce cold, which we haven't had yet, thank goodness, <laughs> remind us of life's more difficult realities of war, injustice, uh, the unpredictabilities in our individual and our collective lives of loss and heartbreak and challenges that can all sometimes feel insurmountable. And it can all feel particularly acute at this time of year. The intensity of our grief, our loss, our illness, our stress and anxiety paired with the exuberance of time with loved ones, gratitude in shared meals and simple joys like hot chocolate or tea on a quiet snowy morning. It's strange, it's awkward and it's all real. I find strength in community, and that is particularly true when things are deeply difficult or deeply joyful. It's nice to be reminded that we are in this together, despite what the news headlines or political pressures may try to persuade us. We get to experience the difficult things and the joyful things together. The difficult and the joyful happen because we are together. It has been such a privilege to step into directing the acapella choir this fall. My predecessor, Dr. George Chu, who I think is watching on the live stream, left big shoes to fill. A legacy of remarkable music making, decades of fond memories for past singers, which are many of you in this room, and a close-knit alumni network, which many of these singers will be joining at the end of this academic year. And while I'm sad to lose them in my day-to-day -day life, I'm so proud that they will be joining the ranks of Hamlin alumni. The best testament to Dr. Chu's years of service is, of course, the students. These students welcomed me with open arms, ready to hit the ground running, with systems of organization already in place, that have been passed down through generations of singers, a passion for an excitement for music making that is thrilling for any conductor to work with. Before we even started the semester, I had an email in my inbox saying, when would you like to meet with the board? I was like, who are these children? <laughs> At the end of the day, the acapella choir is a community of singers, of civic-minded folks who bring people together in spite of efforts to divide, who come to rehearsals with their joys and sorrows and differences, and because of and in spite of it all, still choose to sing with one another. These singers and their music are living evidence that, as Lucy Maud Montgomery says in her poem, A Winter Dawn, above the marge of night, a star still shines. Thank you for being here to participate in the sharing of community and the warmth and joy and goodness that we can create when we come together to help each other through the dark and the cold.
I'm gonna need a breather after that one. <laughs> Hello everyone. My name is Taylor Lander and I have the pleasure and honor of being the current president of the a cappella choir here at Hamlin University. I'd like to welcome you all to our 2023 Christmas concert and thank you for supporting and watching our choir perform tonight with our new director, Dr. Wanyama. The moment we had our first rehearsal with Dr. Wanyama, she seemed to be buzzing while greeting us all. I asked a few choir members about their thoughts after that first rehearsal and they all shared with me how her passion is infectious. Dr. Wanyama not only has excelled in her ability to pull music out of us, but also to get us excited to sing. Having passion is a feat of its own, but to have a passion that demands to be shared is a special gift I believe Dr. Wanyama has. For this, we cannot simply have a big old Christmas concert speech without shouting her out. Our time with her has been short, but the work we have done as a choir is a testament to the heavy lifting done by our amazing choir director. Let's give a hand for our director, Dr. Wanyama. Believe it or not, I definitely could go on about how crazy cool our director is, but I have just a, a couple of other things to give. The second of those happens to be, shocker, my fellow choir members. I will be graduating this spring and I have had lots of time to reflect on my experiences here at Hamlin and specifically my time in choir. I'm not a music major or minor and sadly this could be the last choir I'm a part of as I enter my career. While a goodbye to a winter concert or a choral career may not seem like a big ask, as a 2020 high school graduate and having so many goodbyes unfulfilled my senior year, it makes these so much more special. As I enter my eventual alumni hood, I know for certain that I will look back with all the love and care in the world for the amazing things I got to do as a member of the a cappella choir. Thank you, choir, for always supporting me and your fellow members and providing us graduating seniors a place to return to as we reminisce. Thank you for giving me a sense of acceptance, a feeling of familiarity, and a few smiling faces on campus. Thank you for your drive and passion for music that keeps our voices together in this awesome thing we call song. Let's hear it for the members of the a cappella choir. <laughs> My final thank you, of course, is all of you. Knowing you are all watching and listening from wherever you are is the true gift of tonight. Your efforts as supporters of the a cappella choir never go unnoticed. We are grateful for your contributions, whether through time, talent, or financial support. In five years, we'll celebrate the 100th anniversary of the a cappella choir. We hope to relaunch the tradition of international touring in 2029. Prior to that, we look forward to retreats, a regional tour, and commissioning new music. We are beyond excited to represent Hamlin University and share music around the world. To know that as a performer, we can move you or bring enjoyment to an hour or two of your night is so precious to us. And we thank you so much for supporting the a cappella choir. If you wish to provide a goodwill donation to the a cappella choir, we will be bringing around plates to collect, or you can donate using our fancy QR code on page four of your program. Any checks can be made payable to a cappella choir. That's A followed by a space, CA, two Ps, E, two Ls, and then an A. These funds are used directly for choir, for events, travel, and future endeavors for years ahead. Can we get a round of applause for all you out there as well? Yeah. Our theme for this concert is A Star Still Shines, and we hope that our music resonates to you all as a light that continues on. This message reads to me perseverance and brightness through dark and how throughout everything we still make music. As we continue with our concert, I hope you leave this beautiful space with the warmth that music has. 
Now, to those not entirely within music, that may sound super weird, and I totally get that, but I implore you to listen and allow music to take you with it. Of the many things I've gained from being in this choir, the ability to feel music's power and draw people together is truly the star that will always shine. Thank you for letting me speak for now twice in a row as your president, and I hope you all have a safe, light, and joyous holiday. Enjoy the rest of our wonderful concert, and thank you so much. to celebrate